Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know Halloween is unfortunately over, but I still wanted to share with you guys my Morticia Adams 2022 Halloween costume. So we're just going to do my makeup, my dress, my hair, and take you guys with me for the little party I went to. So First off, I am just prepping my face with my Laura Mercier primer, and then I am covering up these bags because let's face it, your girl has not been sleeping, I've been busy, and I'm just taking my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pale Yellow Concealer and covering up underneath my eyes and on my eyelids, and this is also going to act as an eye primer as well because we are going to be starting with the eyes first. Since we're going to be using a lot of darker eyeshadows, I didn't want to do my base first and get that all muddled and gross, so I'm just applying this concealer to get things going. And for the eye look, we are going to be using none other than the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Cremated Eyeshadow Palette. This is the most perfect eyeshadow palette to do any smoky look, especially a Morticia Adams look. So this was like a must for me. So I'm going to be using all of the colors out of this palette. And first, I'm just going to be taking some scotch tape, putting that on the edges of my eyes because we do want a nice cut eyeshadow line like Morticia has. And the first color I am using is Life Insurance and this is going all over the eye, all over the lid, even up a little bit, just kind of getting that first base color on there and ready to go. I hope you all had an awesome Halloween. This was such a fun night. I went out with my boyfriend, who in fact was Gomez Adams, and my sister and brother-in-law, who went as Jack Skellington and Sally. And we just went out night on the town, did some drinking, some dancing. It was an absolute blast. I am so sad Halloween is over, but not too much longer until it's Halloween again. Am I right? <laughs> And then to start smoking out the eyes, we are going to be using the eyeshadow color Wednesday. How perfect is that? And we're going to be sweeping this in the outer part of our eye, kind of up in that crease a little bit, just to start darkening things up and getting that really kind of gray, silver, dark, smoky eye that Morticia has. I did use a reference picture, the best one that I could find of the 1990s Morticia, but I don't think I got it like perfect, but I mean, I think, I think it turned out pretty good if, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I was really happy with how the eyes came out. And then to darken up that crease, I am using a mixture of R.I.P. and Grave Digger on a smaller, more defined eyeshadow brush. And this is going mostly in the crease and kind of blending in with that Wednesday color that we already put on. And I'm also taking a clean eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to start blending this all the way up to the brow. We are going to do more blending up to the brow after I have my brows on, but I kind of wanted to get a head start on that. And then I'm just going back in and touching up some of those colors and also touching up that first eyeshadow color that we put on the lid. So just a lot of blending, sweeping, you know, all the good stuff. Then we are going to be using my e.l.f. Black Liquid Eyeliner, and of course we are going to be giving ourselves a snatched cat wing for this. Um, I don't know for sure if Morticia has one, but I felt it appropriate at the time. And now we can get started on the face. So for the foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend in the lightest shade I could find at the store. I think this was L1. The only mistake I made with this is I accidentally got the hydrating one instead of the mattifying one. So it did make me look a little bit oily, so I did have to put on quite a bit of powder to set this in place. But I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend all of this in. And then I'm going back in with more concealer. This is my ColourPop No Filter, and I'm just putting more of that underneath the eyes just to get rid of any eyeshadow that might have fallen down and to lighten up my face even more.
So even though Halloween is over, unfortunately, I want to know down in the comments, what did you guys do for Halloween? Did you dress up? Did you go anywhere? Did you hand out candy? Let me know what you did on Halloween down in the comments. I wanted to get this video up sooner on Halloween, but I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was quite hungover <laughs> the next day and I just did not have the energy to edit and do all of this the very next day. So I know it's a little bit late, but you know, Halloween is forever. Am I right? Once I had all of the liquids on my face, it was time to set this and I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier brightening powder. And usually I just use this underneath my eyes, but I'm actually gonna be using this all over my entire face just to really kind of make my face look bright, white, shocking, ghostly-like, just like Morticia Adams. And then it is time to work on these brows. I'm just using my CoverGirl Black Pomade and I love this stuff. I have been using it for years and I wanted my eyebrows to be thin, long, and black just like Morticia's. Hers are a little bit thinner. I didn't wanna pluck or shave my eyebrows for this so I just kinda worked with what I had and just tried to make them look as thin and long as possible if that makes sense. And I also use like a thin brush on the very ends of them and kind of drag that color out to make my eyebrows look really, really long. And then to work on the waterline, I'm just using a hard candy black coal liner and I'm just putting this all over my waterline. And I'm taking the eyeshadow shade Rest in Peace on an eyeshadow brush and I'm sweeping that underneath to darken up that lower lash line so it kind of goes together with everything we have going on on top. And like I said earlier, how we're going to be blending colors up to the brow bone, that is what we are doing here. I am using a tiny bit of the Wednesday eyeshadow color, and I'm just kind of buffing that color up onto the brow bone just underneath the eyebrows. And I didn't feel like my face was quite pale enough, so I decided to use my dead white face powder that I got from a Halloween store. And I'm just putting this all over my face just to make myself look as white as possible. And I was looking a little one dimensional, so I decided to take my dead gray face powder that I also got from a Halloween store, and I'm going to be using this to contour. I am just making my little fishy face and putting that gray shadow color where my contour would be because we all know Morticia isn't looking for bronzer, okay? She has to look dead, you know, pale and, you know, you know Morticia, come on now. So that's basically what I'm doing here, putting that underneath my jaw and my temples on my cheeks. And then I'm using the shade Death Blow, which is the lightest shade in the palette, and I'm using that to highlight my inner corners and also on my brow bone as well. And of course, you can't forget a little bit of mascara. And then it was time for the iconic red lips. I am starting off with a red lip liner from ColourPop and I am outlining, kind of overdrawing my lips a little bit and filling them in. I was a little worried when I was putting this on that I was starting to look a little bit clownish, but it actually all pulled together really nicely, which I was glad for because I was kind of starting to panic at this point, but you know, it all worked out. And then for the lip color, I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Shane Dawson collab, and this is the beautiful red shade, Are You Filming? When I knew I was going as Morticia, I knew that this was the lipstick color I was gonna use. It is the perfect, perfect red in general, and especially for Morticia. It just worked out so nicely. So I am very carefully putting that on my lips, trying not to make a mess, which is very hard for me because I struggle with putting lipstick on, okay? I have weird shaped lips, it's just, it's a process.
And after doing some cleaning up, it was time to head downstairs, put on my dress, and work on this hair girl because it was a hot mess, okay? So let's head down to my bathroom and let's get working on this hair. So for the hair, it was actually pretty simple. I already had the color down because my hair is already jet black. So we got that taken care of. And the only thing I really needed to do for my hair was just to make it pin straight. I know in some scenes in the movie, she does have some curl to it, but I really wanted that classic like pin straight black hair that Morticia has. And I did actually give myself baby bangs for this because it looked weird if I tried to part them. I know she doesn't have bangs, but I compromised and just did baby bangs. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually really dig the baby bangs. I might be keeping them, let me know what you guys think, but I just, it's really cool looking. So that's what I did for this look. I just straightened my hair until it was absolutely pin straight. Of course, sprayed a little bit of dry shampoo in those bangs to get rid of the grease and put on my dress. This dress was the best choice ever. I got it off of Amazon. It was around 40 to $50. It fit me like a glove. It was so perfect with the bat sleeves and the train. It was just amazing. So now that the hair, makeup, and outfit is done, here is what the completed Morticia Adams look looks like. Oh my gosh, like every gothic fantasy I have is like in this look right now. Everything turned out so well. I absolutely loved how the dress looked. I loved how it fit. As you can see, it is perfectly like bodycon. It fit me amazing. So after I was ready to go, then it was time to gather everybody up and it was time to party. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had an absolute blast. Halloween every year for me is just so much fun. It was so fun going out and seeing everyone's costumes and getting a little bit tipsy. It was a blast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I love you guys so very much. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you had an awesome Halloween and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! Stay spooky! <laughs>